Hello little buns, it is Steph, welcome back to my home. It has been at least a month, if not like two, if not like a long ass time, since we've done a Q&A, and I think it's about time we did a Q&A, because you guys have a lot of questions, a lot of new questions, mostly because it's been so damn long, but I want to answer them for you, so we're going to do a Q&A. If you don't know already, I get my questions from Instagram, so I'll post a photo, I'll ask you for questions, and I'll take them from there. I've gone through the posts, and I selected a number of questions that I'm going to answer for you, and we're just going to learn cool things. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> Question number one is from Instagram user JFO3176. Super important question, who are your fave Game of Thrones characters? I love Brienne of Tarth a lot, in a number of ways. I'm obsessed with her. Brienne of Tarth is a great character. She's not the strong female character where a lot of people write them to just be one dimensional like mm, bah, 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 I'm not feminine. She's like well rounded and I love that about her. She's really interesting. Great actor, amazing character. Instagram user Kawaii Anime Addict asks What's your favorite class on World of Warcraft? I have played a rogue since... 2006? Like 10 years I've played a rogue. Rogue is my favorite class, hands down. Always will be. I also love playing a protection paladin, but they're very close. Very close loves of mine. Instagram user Skellington Hatter. What are you most excited for in September? Girl, you know. You know I'm excited for pumpkin spice lattes. When I reopen my P.O. box, which will be this month, I hope and I pray that I will receive Starbucks gift cards in there because I am ready for those pumpkin spice lattes and I don't want it to destroy my credit card. You know what I mean? Instagram user Asmodus. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Uh, Asmodus. What was your first YouTube video about? So I actually started YouTube in high school in ninth grade when I was like 13, 12 or 13 even. My first YouTube video was actually a makeup tutorial for Lady Gaga's paparazzi makeup where she had the small black lips and like the yellow eyeshadow and stuff and like the really big lashes. I loved that look. I didn't put those lashes on, but I did the rest. It was terrible. I said, um, like every two words and like the lighting was bad. It was in front of my mirror on a point and shoot so I could see the back of the point and shoot and see what it looked like. It was a bad time. It was a really, really bad operation, but like it made me feel good. And from there I continued to make videos for a few years in high school until I got death threats locally in my hometown and my mom was concerned and I was concerned because I knew who it was. They knew me personally, they knew where I lived. So I took down all the videos and then I started again a year ago, a year and a half ago, February last year. Instagram user, is Kendra, any advice for a trans girl entering a relationship with a guy for the first time? So men have this social pressure to be masculine, to fit all these needs. Similar to how women are pressured socially to look a certain way or to behave a certain way, men have that as well in a different way. So if this man is a victim of toxic masculinity and will not go anywhere with you in public, will not show affection to you, will not, you know, respond to your feelings and emotions, and is generally treating you like a piece of meat or like a fetish, get rid of him. If he's not doing those things, you're good. Enjoy. Get that girl. Get it. Instagram user Sky Kelly. What or who inspired you to finally accept your true self and start your transition? When I realized I was trans, I had enough background and knowledge on other trans people to know that if I did not accept this and transition, I was going to not live very long. So I just I just knew that it's what I had to do and I just did it and I knew it was I just knew there was no question in my mind that this was not what I was supposed to do. So it was not it was not hard for me to accept myself but I also knew that my parents would be accepting. I knew that my friends would be okay. I knew my employment would not be compromised. So I'm I was in a very privileged situation compared to a lot of other people who are questioning if this is the right decision for them. However, there were people like I said, people that I knew from YouTube or from other places that I knew enough to know that this is what I had to do. And those people were people like Princess Julie Julie Vu here on YouTube, Maya, another Canadian Toronto YouTuber, Gigi Gorgeous, of course, was like the first interaction I had with a trans person, so I really credit her for being so visible as one of the first trans people to be, you know, so visible on YouTube. Nikki Palawa, I don't know where she's from, but she's fantastic. She had breast augmentation pretty recently. They look fantastic. Good job, girl. I watched her before I started transitioning as, like, comfort. Nikita Dragon, I think, started after me, but I watch her now just to sort of, you know, I'm comfortable with her. You know, it's fun. Elle Bradford has helped me a lot personally. She has guided me a lot. I, I think of her a bit of as a mentor. She's been very kind in that way. Instagram user Rasmus Pitsalmi. I am so sorry for butchering your name. What do you think about Britney's new album Glory? I honestly wasn't that impressed. I know that she, like, it's not, I, I feel like when it comes to artists, it's not my place to say, oh, this was her bad work or this is her good work because artists obviously have, excuse me, attachment to all of their work. So I'm not gonna say like, it was bad. But I wasn't that interested, you know? I felt like what they tried to do with the direction of the music, where they kind of layered things kind of off a little bit, like they, they kind of, but I don't know, they tried to do something different with pop music, and I appreciate that, 
but it didn't do anything for me. Except for Make Me, that song is like a killer. I love that song. Instagram user Emily Thorne, you've never shown us the breadmobile. What kind of car do you drive? I actually don't drive. I knew I was moving to Toronto when I was 17. I knew there was public transit and I knew I was not going to drive here. I also knew car insurance would be a super pain in the ass. I knew parking spots would cost me a fortune. So I was like, there's no point. Wow, what is happening? Instagram user, oh, Rasmus Pitislav me again. I'm so sorry for your name. I'm so sorry, I'm such a terrible woman. Who's your favorite artist at the moment? Um, I've been loving this guy on Spotify, and he's everywhere, obviously, not just Spotify, but I found him on my Spotify Discover playlist. Uh, John Bellion. John Bellion. He's so good! It's incredible. Okay. His album art first is what drew me to it. It's all very, like, illustrated and interesting and artistic and beautiful colors. And then I listen to the music, and I'm like, huh! It's so interesting and different, and there's so many different kinds of sounds in there, and it's so Oh, it's so new and fresh. It's so fresh and refreshing and I love it. His debut album, I believe his debut album, is called The Human Condition. It's a great album. If you want to listen to specific tracks, um, ooh, Carry Your Throne wasn't on The Human Condition, but it's an amazing song. All Time Low is his new single that's like been doing really well. It's what I heard first. Uh, 80s films I loved. Woke the f*** Up was a great song. So just look him up on Spotify or wherever. John Bellion, you will not be disappointed. Instagram user JFO3176. Did I answer one of your questions earlier, JFO? Hello again. So Lady Gaga, how was that? I know. I know. I know. I know. Perfect Illusion is coming tonight. Like, I'm recording this on the night of the 8th, okay? And I know it's coming out at like 11 p.m. EST. I probably won't be at home. I don't know. I'm really excited. I, I'm so pumped. Oh my god. I have not had music from her since Art Pop, right? And Art Pop was a great album. A lot of people shit on it. I thought it was great. I love Gaga. So much when I was a wee babe, okay, when I was a little baby, when I was 12, okay, I was really self conscious, shy, like self loathing, everything. I had the full rigmarole of insecurities. Gaga came out with Just Dance and my whole life changed. I don't know. I saw the paparazzi performance 2009 on the VMAs. Up until then, I had convinced myself that pop music was vapid and for girls, because I was a boy back then. And I actually would listen to Tattoo, um, not to gay with my headphones in because I didn't want anybody to hear. I listened to it minimum volume with my headphones in because I thought if anybody heard me, they would think I was gay. I'm like, obviously, I don't give a f I'm super gay. Hi. Gaga on the VMAs, it changed my mind. I was like, wow, pop music is amazing. It's interesting. It's deep. It's got so many layers. This performance is incredible. Her voice is incredible. And then I spiraled into Little Monster Dumb. And from, from that moment, from the fame up until Art of Pop, I pretty much knew where she was all the time, what country, what she was doing, what interview she just done, I knew everything that she was doing. And then after Art Pop kind of, kind of settled down, that became the time for me to sort of learn about myself and transform myself. And now she's coming back with more music and more art. And I'm like, I'm not ready because I feel like we kind of like, I feel like people with their favorite artists kind of synchronize. I feel like they go through similar things in their life because they're listening to this music and it's affecting them in a similar way to the artist. I don't know, there's a lot that I can say about artist and viewer relationships, but I'm just really excited for her new music because I feel like it's going to allow me to open a new chapter in my life, you know what I mean? Instagram user Charlie Ghost, kind of an awkward MTF question, but do you have any tips for tucking or suggestions for underwear that would be comfortable in or help with tucking? So I've tried to record a tucking video before, but I've always felt like it didn't come across properly or I wasn't able to demonstrate things properly. So I'm still working on a way to communicate that in a good in a good fashion. So I know I watched Princess Jewel's video on tucking, that's how I kind of learned and taught myself. I've got my own tricks now, but I would recommend to you in terms of underwear, okay? I would say don't wear like lacy abrasive fabrics directly on your tuck, okay? I would say what I do is I, if I know I'm gonna be out of the house for more than like 30 minutes, for more than like an hour, right? If I'm gonna be going somewhere, I have gaffs that I'll use. Gaffs are actually used in like ballet and theater and stuff to tuck for male performers to hide, well not male, I guess anybody with a penis, right? to conceal their genitalia so it's not awkward and like tights and stuff where you can see a bulge. Super comfortable, they're usually made of some kind of soft fabric. I just put that on first and then I'll put underwear on top of it. Sometimes two or three layers, just to make sure everything's in place and not gonna move. If I am wearing like a bathing suit or something where my butt is gonna be visible, tight shorts, anything like that, I'll use my gaff and then I'll put like two thongs on top of it so I don't have like that butt thing where you can see the layer of underwear. But also, I know it's gonna be secure. So don't be afraid of wearing things that are small as long as you have a gaff with it, I think you're gonna be okay. Definitely look up gaffs. You can find them online. You're not gonna find them in like a lingerie store. Maybe a theater store, but I would go online. That's where I got mine. They were like inexpensive. You don't have to get them looking cute because you're gonna put things on top of them, okay? That's my recommendation. Instagram user 666Kyle666. 
You be good, Kyle. You be good. Who will care for you on your recovery of FFS? My parents are actually coming with me to Boston to undergo this surgery. And then, of course, my mother and the nurse will be there for the week that I'm in Boston. And then when I come home, both of my parents will be taking care of me again in my hometown uh, probably for a couple of weeks. And then when I can look like a human again, I'll come back to Toronto and, you know, live my normal life. It'll be great. Instagram user, oh my Isabel, what was the craziest outfit you wore in high school? Oh my Isabel, oh my. I don't know if I can actually communicate how insatiable my desire to look like an alien was in high school. I would kind of alienate myself on purpose as a defense mechanism to like have control over the alienation, right? People would make fun of me, so I would make myself even weirder so that I was like, it's on purpose, you can't hurt me with it, you know what I mean? So I wore some pretty weird stuff in high school. I would wear like dress shirts with like a leather harness on top, like when you get at a kink store for kink people, also known as people. I would wear, like you know those Lady Gaga shoes, they're not Lady Gaga shoes, but like she wore them a lot, right? Where it's heelless and then it has a platform that comes in like this, like a hoof. I wore those almost every single day for like two years. Seven inches high, I wore some weird stuff, my makeup was ridiculous. I cannot wait. I'm gonna do one of those what my makeup was like in high school videos or whatever because it will be the most ridiculous one by far in this whole website. And I'm not even one, I'm not even like, I'm not even slightly worried that that statement will be false because I know it will be. Instagram user, life of the peanut. Are you excited for the Skyrim remastered game coming soon? Yes! I have like four or five hundred hours logged on that on my Steam account and I know some people are gonna be like, oh, I have six hundred, but like, didn't ask you. They asked me. Okay. Anyway, I'm really excited for the remaster because I keep wanting to go back to play it, but then I get it and I'm like, wow, this looks kind of bad. And like, I don't want to download like 50,000 shaders and add-ons and shit just to make it look good. So, like, it doesn't look terrible. By all means, Skyrim still looks great, but like, it's gonna look even better. Okay, and I'm so excited. Instagram user Reckless Mind Gaming Channel, Gaming Channel, Gaming Channel, and opinion on Legion. You're really hype. You're really, you're really passionate. I have a gaming channel. Where you been? I guess I haven't really been very clear about it. It's called Wafer Brew. I'm doing it in, in, in combination with my friend Annan slash Upbeat slash Brew. Right, I'm Wafer. Uh, I'm so Brew. Like, <coughs> But there's a link in the description box, um, you can go check it out. We were playing mostly horror slash mystery games. So far we've played an Nancy Drew game and Outlast, and we're moving on now to Murdered Soul Suspect. It's gonna be really cool, come hang out with us on the gaming channel, have a cup of coffee, have some wafers, we'll hang out. Also, opinion on Legion, it's amazing, it's great. They sold 3.3 million copies in 24 hours, that's without pre-orders. That's hella amazing. Instagram user Chellbug901. If you could turn physically into a woman overnight, would you? Or are you enjoying the journey of transitioning? So I need to say some things about this question. Came from a good place, the intent is fine, okay? So I'm not like mad at you, girl. Don't worry. But like, I am physically a woman 100%, whether I've had surgeries or hormones or anything anyway, out of the virtue of being a woman, okay? So a trans woman can have a penis and no bre like no breasts or like tiny little boobies and like some stubble, she's still physically a woman. Okay, there are physically women that have stubble and small breasts, like cis women, and they might not have a penis, but like, that's the same thing as like, no breasts or stubble. Like, what what makes it more masculine than stubble or no breasts? Like, there's so many women that have like PCOS and stuff that have similar qualities to trans women, and they're still women, there's no questions asked. So like, I would still be a woman if I didn't get anything done. To answer your question, if I could just go overnight and, and look exactly how I wanted to, okay, yes, I would. I'm not necessarily enjoying the journey of transitioning, I'm enjoying sharing it with you, I'm glad that Having this this adventure has allowed me to make a career, which is incredible. Like, I'm very happy about that. I would go to sleep and wake up with all my surgeries done and pay no money. That would be fantastic. Yes, but it would not make me any more of a woman than I am now, okay? Instagram user Erica Hickman. Have you ever played Mortal Kombat? If so, do you enjoy it? I love Mortal Kombat. My brother and I would always play it, like, Deception. Mortal Kombat Deception on the Xbox. I think it wasn't even 360. And I always played Jade, Jade, Melina, or Katana. And I remember in second grade, I actually made those paper fans. You know, you can make paper fans by folding them. And like, I was in the class, second grade. Okay, little boy, okay. And I had the fans and I was like, whoosh, whoosh. And then I realized that everybody was like stopping what they were doing and looking at me and I was really embarrassed. But like, I used to love doing the fans thing. I loved it, loved it. But Jade is my favorite in terms of her fighting style and also she looks cool, so like, Instagram user, Tiny Luna Solis, do you believe in astrology? I believe in a great number of things, Tiny Lu tiny Luna Solis. Tiny Luna Solis. That's all. That's all the questions we had time for, but it's been so fun hanging out with you. I love you so much. If you have more questions and you want to have your question answered in the next Q&A video, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The information is below. And then the next time I post a, qu like a thing asking you for questions, you know what I mean? You can get in on that. You can get in on this party.
okay? Rock and roll. Until next time, know that you are incredible, you are so powerful, you are so strong. You're Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat, that's what we're gonna go with. You're like this, the most powerful end boss guy from the original games. Whatever, I don't care. I love you so much, bye! What do you tell school administrators about growing up trans? How do we fail you so we can do better? Very good question. Um, bathrooms are a big thing, okay? So my school